often wondered, what was that dream all about? Well, the next way you can use your dreams is to learn how to decode them because they can reveal hidden health clues for all of us. I'm back with dream analyst Kelly Sullivan Walden. Today, our audience wants their dreams deciphered. Maybe they'll give you some clues into your health as well. We're going to start with Gina. Hi, Gina. So what dream do you want deciphered? Well, I've been having the same dream since I've been a child, and um, I'm always in an elevator by myself. All of a sudden, the elevator just starts moving very quickly as if someone cut the cable, and the floor just comes out from underneath me. And then oh. I jump up out of bed in a panic. And I'd really like to know what that means. So, Kelly, <laughs> fa falling dreams, what do they mean? How common are they? Uh, well, elevator dreams as it relates to falling can... Well, uh, we always want to elevate. Elevating mm -hmm. is about succeeding and doing well in life. We all want that. And sometimes we want to go too far too fast. So I think these dreams are actually helping us to get grounded mm -hmm. and say there's some foundational issues that need to be addressed before you can succeed in the way that you want. So it's not a bad thing, mm -hmm. but it's about taking care of some of the things that are maybe more mundane and not as lofty as you might want. Wow, that sounds great. Rings true for you? Yes, I think so, definitely. Are you ambitious? Are you yes, very, to overly. Stuff? I'm always worried about it. Okay, so it's about <laughs> stability. And for the body, we want stability and balance. It's good for you overall to have that balance between ambition and groundedness. Thanks for sharing Thank that. You. Thank you. All right, next up, Marjorie join us. How are you, Marjorie? Good. And what's Thank your dream you. about? Uh, well, I have this recurring nightmare where uh, my teeth fall, fall out, mm. and when I wake up, it's so vivid, and it's like I can feel it, so when I wake up, I have to touch my teeth and make sure that they're there. Well, you've got such beautiful teeth, I would imagine that you don't Thank want you. them going anywhere. <laughs> well, what does that symbolize? Why do people lose their teeth in their dreams? Very common, actually. Very common. And often in the wild, if we were living in the wild without teeth, we wouldn't survive very well. So often teeth can represent survival issues like money, being able to make it. And this economy can be so stressful. So there maybe are there any survival issues going on or even in your mind? Uh, well, I'm planning to, um, getting back into the job market. So that's right. kind of oh. nerve-wracking. Yes. Gritting yeah. your teeth. Oh, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. These dreams are helping you to vent this See, stuff If out. I had that dream, I would think I was grinding my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good luck with that. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck, Hey, Paula. How are you? I'm good. good. Teach us about your dream. Okay, well, basically, um, I'm on a beach, and the sky gets very dark. A torrential downpour of rain comes, and then a large wave comes and takes me out into the ocean. Oh, my heavens. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> Everyone breathe. It's okay. It's just a dream. All right. So, so water in a dream typically symbolizes emotions, and if we're if it's overwhelming, then it tends to be about overwhelming emotions that we that we prefer not to experience. And those emotions can run the gamut from hope to pain, all the way from falling in love to being like, oh no, I don't want to cry. So, so often because we don't want to cry, we want to be happy all the time. But sometimes we need to build time into our lives in order to to let ourselves feel those feelings, so that we don't have to be afraid of the water in our dreams. Is there any emotion? Emotions that you've been kind of putting on the layaway plan? Yeah, things that I might not necessarily feel like I have control over or want to Right. But if you do build time into your life, like, okay, I'm going to schedule 30 minutes to just cry or scream or laugh, then, then those dreams, I would imagine, would stop. Okay. Does that give you some peace of mind? It does. All right. Okay. Great. So thank, th you. thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I'm going to share my dream now because many, many members of the audience I had dreams they wanted to share, but I've had one since I was a child. Mm -hmm. So I can't figure it out. I'm going to share with you and see how you do with it. So in my dream, I'm with my dad, okay. and we're going into a school. And the, the teachers look like wizards, like Harry Potter wizards, except they have, they have fezzes, not those wizard caps on. And they have these old shawls on, and they're, they go down past their legs very vividly, and they're sitting in bleachers, like you might have at a basketball game. And they're sitting on stools in those bleachers, and each teacher is teaching his subject and interviewing students, pupils, at those little desks. So what do you think that bizarre dream might signify? What's wrong, what's wrong with me? Well, first of all, wiz <laughs> <laughs> nothing's wrong with you. Your dreams are always about what's right about you, no matter what it is. But life is a school. We're always in session. We're always learning something. The top of one mountain is always the bottom of the next. So we're always preparing to learn something more. And you're the Wizard of Oz, so that's kind of an interesting <laughs> thing. Sorry, I had to go there. This is long it. before I was the Wizard of Oz. But, but here's an interesting thing. Our dreams are offering a solution about how to get through this challenging situation. In your dream, your dad accompanies you. And so in the dream, every character is you. So, so your dream is telling you to connect with the older, wiser aspect of yourself in order to access the wisdom that you need to do well. 
All right, so you said something very beautiful. You said everything in our dreams is what's positive about us. Absolutely. And many of us beat ourselves up. This is yes. true about our health as well, about the things we do wrong. Yes. They're actually all manifestations of how we do things right. Yes. Even the scary dreams, even, this, even the weirdest dreams, they all come in service of our health and our healing. They're all helping us to make our lives better, our bodies better, if we pay attention to them. Thank you for the advice. Thank you. Still to come, the surprising things I want in your medicine cabinet. They probably aren't there now, but they will be. Stay tuned.